we'll we'll start with a mangla charan namo ariyantaram namo siddhanam namo ayariyanam namo ajjayanam namo lohe sabvasahunam aiso panchana mukkaro sava pava panasano mangla rancha savvesim paramam havai mangalam ragadvesha vijetaram gnyataram viswabastuna sakra pujya girame sam tirthe samstuti manahe pannage cha surendre cha kausike pada sanskruse nirvisesa manashkaya sri veera swamine namaha so i think um, you might know today um, is a very important day in our jain dharma today is vaisakh shud 11 and apre um, you know it's our coincidence that we have a class today and uh, today's class uh, it's a coincidence that we are going to talk about uh, uh, samosaran of the bhagwan rishabdev and on this particular day the first samosaran of bhagwan mahavir was also constructed so it's a very good day for us for for uh, to take this class and um, you know we will uh, we'll discuss about bhagwan rishabdev's jivan charitra so in this class i wanted to talk about the samosaran i wanted to talk about samosaran given in yog shastra uh, and also in other grants like avashyak nirukti and um, and then we'll also talk about some of the atishayas of the bhagwan so after that we'll uh, we'll talk about how the uh, samosaran was actually constructed of uh, bhagwan rishabdev as given in the trishasti salaka purush charitra so we'll we'll get lot more details about the samosaran in this class so um let's uh, briefly discuss um, in this class what is samosaran how the samosaran is actually constructed and then we'll uh, start discussion about bhagwan rishabdev's jivan charitra so what is samosaran so uh, on vaisakh chod 11 right our first samosaran was constructed uh, on bhagwan mahavir shasan and on this day bhagwan mahavir established the uh, jain dharma ya tirth ki sthapna ki so uh, what is what is samosaran so samosaran uh, it can be either be round or it can be square so apne shastra mein dono ullekh aate hain some places it is round and also it can be a square as well so the diameter of the samosaran is one yojan okay one yojan is around 8 miles or around 12 kilometers and this samosaran has got three girds okay there is a first gird there is a middle gird and there is a topmost gird now uh, from the bottom bhumi to the first that is the bottom most gird there are 10000 steps okay and then from the f- uh, bottom most gird to the middle gird there are another 5000 steps and from the middle gird to the top gird there are another 5000 steps so the total height of samosaran is 20000 steps and the diameter of samosaran is around 8 miles okay so the bottom most gird is where all the vehicles are parked okay so when the devs and devis and even the raja and other uh, uh, you know people who come to listen to bhagwan's deshna they all park their vehicles in the first gird the second gird the middle gird is where all the tiryanch jeevs are sitting you know tiryanch jeevs they come to listen to bhagwan's deshna and they are all sitting in the middle gird and the topmost gird is where there are 12 parshadas you know if you if you know uh, mata maru devi's uh, song you know there is a there is a famous line saying that trigde basi dharma khanta sune parshada bar right so what is the uh, bar parshada so topmost gird has got 12 parshadas so when bhagwan uh, enters the samosaran he enters from the east direction and is always sitting facing the east direction okay and uh, on the uh, on the topmost gird you have got 12 parshadas and there are three parshadas in each corners so there is three parshadas in the southeast corner three parshadas in the northeast corner three parshadas in the northwest and three parshadas in the southwest corner so first on the on the north on the southeast corner okay southeast corner on the on the first parshada you have got all the gandhar bhagwans so if you think about bhagwan mahavir samosaran there are 11 brahmin uh, who have come uh, and become the gandhars so they sit in the first parshada okay and just behind the gandhar bhagwans there are keval gnani bhagwans so first parshada you have got all the gandhar bhagwans and just behind the gandhar bhagwans you have got all the keval gnani bhagwans then in the second parshada there are all the sadhus and sadhvis 
and in the third parshada you have got vaimanik devis okay the devis from the first to 12th vaimanik devaloks they all sit in the third parshada so this is the southeast corner so southeast corner first you have got gandhar bhagwans followed by kevali bhagwans followed by sadhus and sadvis and followed by vaimanik devis okay now on the north east corner on the first parshada you have got all the raja maharaja and all the ministers who have come to listen to bhagwan's deshna then the second parshada you have got all the shravaks and shravikas and on the third parshada you have got all the vaimanik devs okay so um, that is the north east corner now if you think about the north west corner you have got in the first parshada you have got bhuvanpati devtas in the second parshada you have got jyotish devtas and in third parshada you have got vyantar devtas and in the south west corner in the first parshada you have got bhuvanpati devi in the second parshada you have got jyotish devis and in third parshada you have got vyantar devis so these are the 12 uh, parshadas that are sitting in the first gurd okay second gurd is all the tiryanch and the last gurd is all the parking of the vehicles now if you think about the topmost gurd right topmost gurd um, the the diameter of topmost gurd is 2600 dhanush okay now we know one dhanush is around how many 4 feet right so diameter of the innermost gurd or the topmost gurd the smallest gurd is 2600 dhanush the diameter of the middle gurd is 5200 dhanush it is twice the first gurd and the diameter of the third gurd the bottommost gurd is 8000 dhanush okay this is some information for you to imagine or you can visualize the samosaran that it is extremely big it is a very very large structure if you think about palitana you know palitana is around 4000 steps and this sam- samosaran is 20000 steps so it's five times more bigger than the entire palitana parvat and it's uh, spreaded across the 8 miles or 12 kilometers bhumi and the thickness of the walls of the samosaran is 33.32 yojans or, or sorry 33.32 dhanush okay so that is the thickness of the wall so this is some general information about the samosaran and this will help you visualize the samosaran when we talk about bhagwan rishabh devs uh, keval gnyan kalyanak so now let's see how the samosaran is actually constructed so uh, samosaran is constructed by four types of devtas okay so there uh, uh, you might uh, know what are the four types of devtas so there is vaimanik devtas there is uh, bhuvanpati devtas there is jyotish devtas and there is vyantar devtas so all the four types of devtas they come together to construct the samosaran so this samosaran we saw um, is uh, can be round or square and first is uh, vayu devta from the asur kumar nikay so if you remember the asur kumar nikay bhuvanpati it's in the first ratnaprabha narak so from the antras of those ratnaprabha naraks you know the first the vayu devta comes and they clear the one yojan bhumi of all the all the stones thorns pebbles and everything after the vayu devta clears all the bhumi then the meg devta comes from the asur kumar nikay and and does the sugandhi uh, barish you know it's a uh, fragmented showers in one yojan bhumi and after that the vyantar devta they come and create a platform this platform is spreaded across the one yojan bhumi and it's made up of gold and ratna and after that the rutu kumar devta they come and do the uh, uh, shower of five types of sugandhi flowers okay so these are the um, you know uh, initial how the samoshan is constructed so after that uh, the bhuvanpati devtas they create the bottom most gurd you know the gurd where all the parking is vehicles are parked so this gurd is made up of silver and it's decorated by gold and there are 10000 steps in four directions uh that goes to the first gurd and here there is a parking of all the vehicles and here there are four dwars okay there are four uh, dwars in each direction and here the vyantar devtas they act as dwarpals okay so total there are four doors or four dwars eight dwarpals and total 40000 steps in four directions then after that the middle gurd is constructed by jyotish devtas now this jyotish devtas uh, the, uh, the middle gurd is made up of gold and is decorated by ratnas and this gurd there are 5000 steps in all the four directions and here uh, devis they act as dwarpals so uh, devis like jaya devi vijaya devi aparajita all those devis they act as dwarpals 
and here uh, all the animals are sitting and listening to bhagwan's deshna and all the animals are able to listen to bhagwan's De deshna without any fear or without any enmity and this is one of the atishayas of the bhagwan and the topmost ghad is created by vaimanik devdas and uh, this ghad is made up of ratna and it's decorated by gold and again there are 5000 steps from the middle ghad to the topmost ghad and here the devdas they act as dwarpals you know the vaimanik devdas themselves they act as dwarpals and here on the center of the samosaran you have got ashok vruksh this ashok vruksh is 12 times the height of tirthankar parmatma and it's spreaded across one yojan bhumi so it is extremely large it is the height is 12 times the tirthankar parmatma's height and the vistar you know the spread is one yojan so all the jeevs who are sitting in the samosaran they are sitting under the ashok vruksh and ashok vruksh has one of the properties to to remove the shok you know it's known as ashok matlab sabka shok wo dur karta hai aur all the sur asur uh, all the animals they all are able to uh, sit uh, together without any hatred or enmity uh, now in the center of the samosaran just below the ashok vruksh you have got ratnamayi siyasan and this ratnamayi siyasan is uh, made by the vyantar devtas so when bhagwan enters the samosaran he enters from the east direction and first what he does is he does the three pradakshinas of ashok vruksh okay so let us imagine bhagwan mahavir you know on this today uh, on vaisak sud 11 he enters the samosaran from the east direction he does three pradakshinas of the uh, ashok vruksh and he says namo tirthasa so bhagwan mahavir bhi tirth ko namaskar karte hai kyunki tirth is the supreme you know without tirth even tirthankar nahi uh, nahi ban sakte so sang and tirth are considered as supreme so bhagwan mahavir khud tirth ko namaskar karte hai and he sits facing the east direction and immediately when he sits in the east direction the vyantar devis they create a look alike of bhagwan mahavir in all the other three directions so vyantar devis they take the same look as bhagwan mahavir and after that uh uh you know bhagwan mahavir ke upar there is a chhatra there is a known as uh, there is a three chhatras and it is made up of moti and both sides of bhagwan mahavir there are yaksha and yakshinis who are doing chamar so this is for your visualization there is ratnamayi siyasan bhagwan is sitting on Rat ratnamayi siyasan there is a three chhatras and there is a chamar and also there is a bha mandal uh, or halo behind the bhagwan mahavir and after bhagwan has seated the 64 indras they come together and does the stuti and vandana of of bhagwan mahavir and after that bhagwan uh, sasan ki sthapna karte hai and he gives the tripadi if you know upneva vigneva dhueva to the gandhar bhagwans and usse gandhar bhagwans wo dwatsanki ki rachna karte hai right if you know the snatas ya usme aata hai aharad vaktra prasutam ghanadar rachitam dwad sangam visalam right so हरियन परमात्मा त्रिपति देते हैं और गंधर भगवंत उसमें उससे द्वादसांगी द्वादसांगी इज द होल ऑल ऑफ द जैन शास्त्र इट इंक्लूड्स द इलेवन अंग्स एंड द चौथ पूर्व उसकी रचना करते हैं एंड और फिर उसके बाद भगवान वो चतुर्विद संघ की स्थापना करते हैं तो साधु साध्वी श्रावक श्राविकास ओके सो दिस इज द जनरल डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द समोसरण so let's uh, see some of the uh, atishayas of bhagwan now this is very important uh, you know when we uh, come uh, you know when we do further bhagwan rishabh dev jeevan charitra it's it's uh, very uh, important for you to remember all the four atishayas so you might already know there are four atishayas there is gnyan atishay there is apaya gaman atishay there are puja atishay and vachana atishay okay so first is gnyan atishay so what is gnyan atishay of aryan parmatma now all the 24 tirthankars have this four atishays so first is gnyan atishay gnyan atishay uh, there are two types of gnyan atite uh, atishays there is dravya atishay and there is a bhav atishay so whenever there is kalyanak of any of the tirthankar parmatma you know there are five kalyanaks right there is a chavan kalyanak diksha kalyanak there is a chavan kalyanak janma kalyanak diksha kalyanak keval gnan kalyanak and nirvan kalyanak so whenever there is this five kalyanaks in the samasta chaud rajlok there is a dravya prakash okay and there is a physical prakash in the samasta chaud rajlok 
एंड द जीव्स ऑफ नार्किस वो आनंद की अनुभूति करते हैं दे ऑल्सो यू नो हैव हैप्पीनेस ड्यूरिंग वन ऑफ द वेन एवर देर इज वन ऑफ दिस यू नो कल्याणक यू नो इन वित्राक्ष स्त्रोत्र देर इज अ लाइन नारका अधि मोदनते यश कल्याण पर्व सु सो वेन एवर देर इज अ कल्याणक पर्व नारक के जीव भी आनंद की अनुभूति करते हैं सो दैट इज द द्रव्य ज्ञान अतिशय एंड वॉट इज अ भाव ज्ञान अतिशय सो भाव ज्ञान अतिशय मीन्स भगवान को जब केवल ज्ञान होता है समस्त चौदह राजलोक के समस्त काल के समस्त पदार्थ के समस्त पर्याय का ज्ञान प्रतिष्ठण होता है दैट इज नोन एज भाव ज्ञान अतिशय एंड वो ज्ञान द्वादसांगी के रूप में गर्धन भगवंतों को uh, मिलता है एंड दैट्स हाउ द शास्त्र आर क्रिएटेड ओके सो दैट इज द ज्ञान अतिशय सेकेंड अतिशय इज अपया गमन अतिशय सो वॉट इज अपया गमन अतिशय सी वेन एवर भगवान इज वॉकिंग और वेर एवर द भगवान इज प्रेजेंट इन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव योजन भूमि देर इज एबसेंस ऑफ एट थिंग्स देर इज एबसेंस ऑफ रोग शोक अतिवृष्टि अनावृष्टि आतंक यू नो देर आर एबसेंस ऑफ ऑल द एट थिंग्स एंड दैट इज नोन एज अपया गमन अतिशय एंड दैट इज इन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव योजन भूमि सो यू कैन इमेजिन यू नो हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव योजन टाइम्स एट माइल्स सो अराउंड थाउजेंड माइल्स there is absence of this eight things then third is puja atishay so what is puja atishay the tirthankar parmatma is pujniya by samasta jeev of all the uh, samasta rajlok so urdhva lok madhya lok and adhalok so all the jeevs you know wo uh, bhagwan ki puja karte there is a puja atishay of jineshwar parmatma so in puja atishay there are eight pratiharyas and there are 34 atishays so in a shastra known as prav pravachan sarodwar uh, uh, there are there is a indication of eight uh, pratiharyas so what are the eight pratiharyas there is ashok vruksh there is uh, pushpa vrushti there is divya dhanvi dhvani there is chamar asan there is siyasan bhav mandal uh, bheri or uh, chhatra okay so these are the eight uh, pratiharyas and uh, you know you uh, like you all have to remember this eight pratiharyas it is very useful so first is uh, ashok vruksh you know we all already discussed uh, ashok vruksh wo it is 12 times the height of tirthankar parmatma and it's a uh, the vistar is one yojan and all the jeevs they can they sit under the ashok vruksh or wo sabhi shok unke dur ho jate hai okay second kaun sa hai sihasan sihasan we saw it's created by vyantar devtas and it's made up of ratna then is bhav mandal bhav mandal is the halo behind the uh, uh, bhagwan then chamar chamar is you know whenever bhagwan is walking or sitting in the samosana yaksh and yakshinis they do chamar on the both the sides of bhagwan then uh, uske baad hai chhatratray chhatratray is the three uh, umbrellas that are above the bhagwan's head so why why are there three umbrellas that indicates bhagwan is trilok ka nath okay so urdhva lok madhya lok and adho lok so three chhatratrai is the three umbrellas uske baad hai pushpa vrushti so whenever bhagwan is walking there is a constant uh, shower of fragrant flowers to so, uske baad hai uh, divya uh, dev dundubi dev dundubi is a is a announcement that is made by devtas that uh, indicates that bhagwan is going to start its deshna or last is divya dhvani जब भगवान देशना देते हैं देर इज अ म्यूजिक गोइंग ऑन एंड दिस म्यूजिक इज बेसिकली इन मालकोस राग यू नो विल सी इट फर्दर बट दैट म्यूजिक इज कॉन्स्टेंटली गोइंग ऑन एंड इट्स इट्स मिक्सिंग विद द भगवान देशना एंड दैट इज नोन एज दिव्य ध्वनि सो दिस आर द एट प्राति आर्यस एंड नेक्स्ट इज थर्टी फोर अतिशय ओके सो थर्टी फोर अतिशय दे आर सिंपल टू रिमेंबर देर आर फोर यू नो मूल अतिशय देर आर प्रेजेंट फ्रॉम बर्थ there are 11 uh, uh, karma shay atishayas and 19 devta krut atishayas okay so whenever bhagwan comes to mata's garb uh, the sharir that bhagwan makes you know the odarik putgal that bhagwan's atma attracts is based in the world and uh, it and bhagwan's body that is created is is very very beautiful so bhagwan's body is free of perspiration okay so that is the first atishay उसके बाद भगवान के जो श्वासो श्वास है द ब्रीदिंग इन एंड ब्रीदिंग आउट इज ऑल्सो सुगंधी ओके थर्ड जो भगवान का ब्लड है दैट इज ऑल्सो ओडरलेस एंड इट्स व्हाइट एज मिल्क एंड भगवान का जो इंटेक एंड यू नो आहार और निहार की क्रिया 
you know taking in food and and the uh, excretion they are both invisible okay they are not uh, visible to the naked eyes so these four are the mool atishas or uh, atishas present at birth fir uske baad hai 11 karma shay atishas so what are the 11 karma shay atishas usme the eight atishas are apayagaman atishas you know there is absence of uh, wherever bhagwan is walking or present there is absence of eight things usme rog shok ativrutti anavrutti atank wo sab so its absence of eight things uske baad hai bhagwan ki vaani jo bhagwan ki deshna hai it's in ard magdi a uh, language and it's understood by all the animals uh, so it's understood by humans tiryanj and it's understood clearly in one yojan bhumi so that is a second atishay third atishay is bhagwan ke sar ke piche bhav mandal hota hai and that bhav mandal is immediately bhagwan after bhagwan achieves the keval gnyan and the fourth uh, and the last karmashay atishay is in the samosaran the ten koda kodi jeev मतलब टेन कोड़ा कोड़ी इज टेन करोड़ टाइम्स टेन करोड़ दैट इज हंड्रेड थाउजेंड बिलियन हंड्रेड थाउजेंड बिलियन जीव कैन वो एक ही समोसरण में दे कैन कम ओके दे आर एकोमोडेटेड विद इन द वन योजन राउंड समोसरण सो दैट इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द अतिशय ऑफ तीर्थंकर तीर्थंकर परमात्मा एंड उसके बाद है नाइनटीन देर आर देवकृत अतिशय उसमें से वेर एवर भगवान इज वॉकिंग there is a dharma chakra okay dharma chakra is a, a chakra that is always walking in front of the bhagwan aur wo mark ko prakashit karta hai there is dharma chakra uske baad we saw chamar right wherever bhagwan is walking the yaksha and yakshinis are doing the chamar then there is sinhasan you know sinhasan is also uh, wo aakash mein sinhasan is also walking along with the bhagwan and this sinhasan wo humne dekha it's created by vyantar devtas and it is made up of ratna उसके बाद छत्र वी सो देर आर थ्री छत्र थ्राइज ऑन भगवान हेड और फिफ्थ इज धर्म ध्वजा ओके सो दिस आर द फाइव थिंग्स दैट आर ऑलवेज कॉन्स्टेंटली प्रेजेंट विद भगवान उसके बाद वेर एवर आफ्टर अचीविंग केवल ज्ञान भगवान डज नॉट पुट इज फुट ऑन द ऑन द भूमि मैंने भगवान का कभी भी उनके फुट भूमि पे नहीं होते एंड द रीजन इज देवता क्रिएट्स द नाइन गोल्डन लोटसेस and uh, two lotuses are always beneath bhagwan's feet and wherever bhagwan lifts one of its feet the two lotuses from the back they come in front of bhagwan so there are nine lotuses that are created by devtas then the then samosaran itself is atishay that is created by De- devta then bhagwan's face is visible from all the directions so koi uh, if person is sitting you know at the end of one yojan he can still clearly see, see and visualize bhagwan's face face and last uh, and ninth is ashok vruksh so humne already we saw the ashok vruksh uske baad wherever bhagwan is walking the thorns jo kaat kaate hote they face downwards uske baad jo trees hote they are bowing you know it seems like the trees are bowing uske baad there is a environment is extremely pleasant there is a cool breeze going on the birds are doing pradakshina there is a shower of water and fragrant flowers and the temperature and the wind is perfect fir uske baad wherever after taking the diksha okay bhagwan uh, hair and nails do not grow okay uh, immediately after the diksha the hair and nails they stop growing and that is one of the uh, atishayas and uh, and the last atishay is wherever bhagwan is present minimum 1 crore devtas they always accompany tirthankar parmatma okay so after achieving keval gnyan minimum 1 crore devtas are always present with the bhagwan so that is the puja atishay and 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 the fourth atishay is vachana atishay and uh, the vachana atishay uh, as we saw that bhagwan ka jo deshna hoti hai wo maankon srag mein hoti hai and it's uh, understood by all the tiryanj it's understood by all the human beings and it's a uh, uh, clearly audible up till one yojan bhumi so ye jo vachana atishay hai there are 35 bhagwan ke vaani mein 35 uh, uh, atishays hote hai and we'll quickly see all this 35 atishays of bhagwan's vaani okay so what are the 35 attributes or uh, uh, atishays of bhagwan's vachana तो पहला है भगवान की वाणी इस संस्कार वाली मतलब इट्स फुल ऑफ ऑफ शब्द एंड अर्थ अलंकार 
that means it's so beautiful both in sabda and earth that people who are listening to bhagwan's deshna can listen for long periods of time okay second is bhagwan's deshna or vani is udat udat matlab it's loud and clear and shuddh okay people who are at one yojan distance can also clearly uh, hear bhagwan's deshna uske baad hai third is upchar prarit upchar prarit matlab uh, bhagwan's vani is in a language that even pandit pandits and vidwan can appreciate so it's free of all the slangs or it's free of all the colloquial terms uske baad hai bhagwan's vani is make gambhir is deep as a thunder jaise badal garaj rahe ho so it's known as make gambhir uske baad bhagwan's vani is pratinad yukt matlab it's a perfect resonance there is perfect echo तो so, जैसे हम देहरासन में घंट बजा बजाते हैं घंट का जो एको होता है ऐसे भगवान वाणी भगवान के वाणी में ऐसा एको आता है उसके बाद है भगवान वाणी इज दाक्षिण दाक्षिण इट्स बेसिकली इट्स सिंपल एंड इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड मतलब इवन द कॉम्प्लेक्स टॉपिक्स दे आर एक्सट्रीमली सिंपल एंड इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड उसके बाद है भगवान वाणी इज राग युक्त राग युक्त मतलब म्यूजिकल इट्स इन द मालकोंस राग एंड मालकोंस राग इज वन ऑफ द कंसिडर इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट रागस that people can listen to this rag for long period of time without any bhook you know without any hunger or thirst or anything uske baad hai bhagwan swani is ma earth matlab it's it's a deep and profound meaning okay uske baad hai bhagwan swani is avyaghat avyaghat matlab uh, whatever bhagwan swani bhagwan is speaking each sentence it supports the previous sentence so there is no virodha bhas there is no ambiguity anywhere in bhagwan swani then bhagwan swani is sist sist matlab it's like a very sajjan or noble person is speaking uske baad asandekar to people who are listening to bhagwan's deshna all their doubts you know they are able to become free of all the doubts that is asandekar uske baad anyottar rahit no one can di- disprove bhagwan okay bhagwan's vani it's it's uh, त्रिकला बाधित अपने शास्त्र में एक वर्ड आता है त्रिकला बाधित मतलब वो तीनों तीन काल में नो वन कैन डिस्प्रूव भगवान वाणी दैट इज नोन एज अन्योत्तर रहित उसके बाद है हृदय गम्य हृदय गम्य मतलब इट्स एक्सट्रीमली प्लीजिंग इट इट गोज डिरेक्टली स्ट्रेट इन योर हार्ट फिर उसके बाद है ससांग ससांग मतलब वॉट एवर भगवान इज स्पीकिंग इट्स एक्सट्रीमली स्ट्रीम लाइंड okay the flow of the meaning and the flow of sentences they are like a continuous flow okay that is known as sakang uske baad uchit uchit matlab dravya kshetra kar bhav se uchit okay bhagwan swani always follows the dravya kshetra karan bhav uske baad tatva nishth tatva nishth means it's full of tatva and meaning a a a prakirna is strictly relevant to topic ओके okay, जो भी टॉपिक चल रहा है इज स्ट्रिक्टली रिलेवेंट टू टॉपिक एंड भगवान का जो एक्सप्लेनेशन होता है इट्स परफेक्ट इट्स नाइदर टू शॉर्ट और नाइदर टू लॉन्ग फिर पर निंदा रहित भगवान इज केवल ज्ञानी ही नोज एवरीथिंग अबाउट एवरीवन पर कहीं पे किसी की निंदा नहीं होती है इट्स पर निंदा रहित फिर उसके बाद है अभिघात्य अभिघात्य मतलब एवरी कैन अंडरस्टैंड भगवान देशना अकॉर्डिंग टू देर ओन मति एंड श्रुत ज्ञान okay so if animal is there he uh, animal can understand according to its own mati and shruta gnyan and if chaut purvi is listening to bhagwan sudeshna he can understand according to his own ability fir uska madhur it's uh, extremely sweet as sugar cane so people can listen to bhagwan sudeshna for long periods of time without boredom hunger thirst or uh, you know uh, they are able to listen for for days and nights uske baad hai prasansniya so everyone who have come to listen to bhagwan's deshna you know they appreciate bhagwan's deshna and crores of people and devtas they come to listen to bhagwan's deshna fi uske baad a marma bhedi matlab bhagwan kisi ke rahasya nahi khulte hain bhagwan is keval gnani he knows all the rahasyas of of all the jeevs but he he does not uh, praise himself or he does not open the rahasyas of other people उसके बाद है उदार भगवान वाणी इज फुल ऑफ शादवाद दैर इज इट्स फुल ऑफ अनेकांत दैर इज नो एकांत ओके दैर इज उदार उसके बाद है धर्मार्थ इज इज ऑलरी रिलेटेड टू धर्म फिर कार कर दी अविपर्यास भगवान वाणी इज फॉलोज द रूल ऑफ ग्रामर्स सो जहाँ पे एक वचन आता है बहुवचन आता है स्त्रीलिंग आता है पोलिंग आता है इट फॉलोज ऑल द रूल्स ऑफ ग्रामर उसके बाद है विभ्रम युक्त इट्स फ्री ऑफ डबल मीनिंग okay so there is no double meaning in bhagwan's deshna 
फिर चित्रकारी चित्रकारी भगवान देशना वो लोगों में एक जिज्ञासा उत्पन्न करती है एंड पीपल आर एबल टू पिक्चराइज भगवान देशना यू नो इन देयर माइंड दे आर एबल टू विजुअलाइज एंड पिक्चराइज द भगवान देशना फिर अद्भुत अद्भुत इज ब्यूटिफुल यू नो भगवान देशना इज एक्सट्रीमली ब्यूटिफुल फिर अनिति विलंब भगवान देशना इज फ्री ऑफ पॉजिज तो दैट मीन्स द स्पीड एट विच द भगवान इज स्पीकिंग इज परफेक्ट इज नाइदर स्लो और नॉट फास्ट एंड देर आर नो पॉजिज उसके बाद है अनेक जाति विचित्रता दैट इज भगवान भगवान देशना हैज मैनी मैनी इंटरप्रिटेशन सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल चौथ पूर्वी को कोई डाउट हो ही विल अंडरस्टैंड अकॉर्डिंग टू हिज ओन डाउट और तीरियंश को कोई डाउट हो तीरियंश विल अंडरस्टैंड अकॉर्डिंग टू हिज ओन इंटरप्रिटेशन सो देर आर मल्टीपल इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ द सेम सेंटेंस उसके बाद है आरोपित विशेषता दैट मीन्स ईच सेंटेंस दैट भगवान स्पीक्स इज मोर एंड मोर विशेष दैन प्रीवियस सेंटेंस that means the the meaning is is goes deeper and deeper as uh, as bhagwan's deshna progresses uske baad is satva pradan matlab it is a para, parakram wali hoti hai vivakt vivakt is every akshar is loud and clear it's it's di- every akshar is distinct okay usko vivakt bolte aur uske baad avichinna it's free of uh, logic matlab it's fi- f- uh, it's it's full of uh, tark and praman okay and last is akhed so everyone peopling uh, people listening to bhagwan deshna unko koi khed nahi hota hai khed matlab they are not annoyed or ya koi bhi prakar ka dukh nahi hota hai so these are the 35 atishayas of the vachana okay so uh, there are four atishayas there is uh, gnana atishay then there is apayagaman atishay puja atishay and vachana atishay and i i wanted to cover this topic because again today's vaisakh so the 11th so you can uh, visualize bhagwan mahavir's deshna and even in our rishabdev's jivan charitra we are going to talk about the samosaran okay